What's up everyone, Amy here. This is the fourth video in the GrooveMail tutorial 2022 series. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a GrooveMail form, list, tag, how to configure a form for a single opt-in versus a double opt-in, and add it to your Groove Pages landing page. If you don't have a free Groove account yet, support the channel by signing up through my link in the description area below, and you'll also receive some bonus training from me as well. You ready? Let's go. Okay guys, before we begin, I'm assuming you have added in your sender email in GrooveMail. You'll need that in place first before you can create GrooveMail forms. If you haven't, head to my GrooveMail tutorial 2022 playlist and watch the very first video, which is this video. So this is the landing page in which I'm swapping out my active campaign opt-in for my GrooveMail form. What you will do is go to elements, Scroll down to Groove Apps and drag in the Groove Mail Form element into the canvas over here. I'm not going to configure this yet because we'll need to set it up in Groove Mail. Let's head to Groove Mail and you want to click on List and List again. Step one is creating a new list. We'll click here, click on New List, give it a name and click on Create List. Once you created your list over here, head up top. And step two is creating tag categories and tag. Click on tag, new tag, click on that. Give your tag a name and a description for tag categories. I mainly use it as folders for project names, product names or brands, but you might have a different system in place. For this particular category, I've created a category called lead magnets. But if you don't have any categories in place yet, just click on create new category, give it a name and click plus. We don't need that. So I'll just minus out of that and click create tag. Step three is creating a form. Head over to your left and click on forms and forms again. Click on new form, give your form a name and click on save and continue. Because I'm adding this form on Groove Pages. I don't need this headline or subheadline. So we'll just click on this and this. The first name field has defaulted down to the bottom. So just hold this and drag it back up top. Now you've got first name field on the top, email down the bottom. If you like to add more fields, click on this. Click on the drop down. You can add a phone or head down here, click on new custom field and create your own custom fields. But for now, we'll just cancel out of that and just stick with first name and last name. To edit the field input, just click on it. Click on the pencil icon, scroll down, and I just want to space that. Have it as first name. Click on this field is required. Update. Let's do the same for the email. Click on that. Click on the pencil. And we want that placeholder to be email address. Click on update. For the submit button, just click on it and we'll change it to download now. Click on next. Now we're at form setup. Let's start at the very top. For subscriber list, select the list you want to assign it to. Click on the drop down and we created a list called a sales funnel workbook. Select that. Click out here. Scroll down. You want to always assign the tag related to the form. Select this. Under the drop down, I'll select Sales Funnel Workbook because that was the tag name we created. Going down to Sequences, you can subscribe someone to an email sequence, also known as an autoresponder series. But I'm going to skip this for now because the next video coming up will be on creating an email sequence. We'll leave that as is. For opt in settings, you can choose to have a single opt-in whereby a contact doesn't need to confirm their email address, but I prefer to set up a double opt-in where the user needs to click on a confirmation link to receive their freebies and future emails. Let's go with a double opt-in and select this, send by email. Under the drop-down, select your sender email. Mine's already defaulted to Amy Vo. For subject, enter in a subject headline. For preview, that's like a pre-header text, which is a snippet of text that appears after the email subject. Moving on to the message, you want to leave this opt-in confirmation link variable in place because people need to click on it. 
I've added in my copy here. And I like to add an image of myself below my name. Head up here, click on this image icon and upload an image. I've already uploaded an image. So I'll select that. And you might want to resize your image before uploading it to Groove. We'll select that. That looks good to me. I'm just going to go down, hit enter a bit. And if you like, you can highlight all of this and increase the font size over here. Just play around with this formatting toolbar because if you click on this, you can change the font color. And if you highlight a text, you can go over here, click on this link icon to add in your URL right here and click on save. Everything looks fine for me. I'm going to move on. The confirmation page URL is the URL people will be redirected once they click on the confirmation link here. What I like to do with the confirmation page URL is the moment someone clicks on the opt-in confirmation link, they get redirected to download my lead magnet. What I've done is uploaded my lead magnet into Google Drive and I've copied the URL to this document. And I'm going to head back to GrooveMail, paste in that URL right here. Scrolling down to success URL. This is the URL that users will be redirected to after they click on your submit button on the landing page. If we head back to my landing page, the moment someone clicks on that submit button here, the next page that will be redirected to is my thank you page which means you need to create a thank you page as well. Click on publish, head over to current page, copy this link under success page URL. You would paste in your thank you page URL right here. Scrolling down to welcome email SMS settings. I prefer to skip this because you can tie this in with your email sequence and you will see this note this message may be delivered at the same time as a sequence email if you are also adding this contact to a sequence. This will only duplicate up emails. So I suggest you add your welcome email as part of your email sequence and you would select do not send here. Scrolling down, forward responses. If you want someone else to be notified as well, you would select the recipients here. You can add a recipients by going to senders, click on recipients, add a new recipient, enter in their email here, click on send OTP. GrooveMail will send you a verification one time password, paste in that code over there. Then that person or that email should also be an option when you're setting up your GrooveMail form here. I don't need anyone else to be notified. So I'm going to leave it as is. We're going to click on next. You will be given your embed form and you will copy the HTML code here if you wanted to embed it on group blog, WordPress or any web page on the internet. Click on finish. You can see here it has zero submission. We want to head it back to group pages on our landing page and configure this groove mail form element. So we'll click on this, click on configure under select your groove mail form, click on the drop down. The form was called Sales Funnel Workbook for the thank you redirect. Click on the drop down, select page, and hopefully you've created your thank you page. My thank you page was called Workbook Thank You. I'll select that and click on update. We want to clean up this form a bit. So what I'll do is I'll click inside the field and you see how the first name font color is a bit dark. Click here, then click on text, color, and we'll just make this font a bit lighter. That's a hex code over here. Copy that. Head over here to the input field as well. Click on text. Click color. Paste in that hex code. And if I click on submit, scrolling back up, we want to click on background. Click on this drop down. I quite like this green color. So I'll select that. We'll click on this arrow to close it. Click on text. Increase this font size to 22 and I want to go to weight, make it semi bold, go down here to spacing and just make that wide. Then scrolling back up, click on the configure tab and instead of the word submit, I want that call to action to be download now. Click on update, head back to design, 
You notice when I hover over this, it's still a pink button. Let's fix that by going to a hover, scrolling down to background. That's on pink, click here, select the same green, close out of it. Now I want to go to spacing and just give it some padding. Let's add a padding left and right of 20. Click on this and this to deactivate it and add a top and bottom 15. Once you're done styling your form, head up here, click on save, click on the drop down in publish, head down here and click on publish. And you'll get this green notice site publish in progress. You'll need to give it a few minutes before it goes live. Now I want to test this Groove Mail form. I've entered in a name and a test email. We'll click on download now. It's redirected me to the thank you page, which is great. I receive a notification from Groove Mail that someone's opted in my form. Let's check my inbox for the confirmation email. It's arrived. Everything looks great. Heading back to forms, you can see that my sales funnel workbook, which had zero submissions before, now has one submission. All right, guys, give this video a thumbs up. Support the channel by signing up to Groove using my links below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification. And until next time, see ya.